if I'd want to fight in Japan. It's so far away. Toilet. Yeah, we've been talking about the bidets. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, apparently they have a, a button, so when you're pooping, you hit the modesty button and it sings to you, so, so nobody else hears it. Noise. Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah, so I we were talking about... I was laughing about I was just peeing in the bathroom, because we just talked about it at breakfast. And you pee so loud because you drink so much water. That's true. They should have like, it should be like a Buddy Holly button for pooping, and then like a Metallica button for pooping, and maybe like a Slipknot. That'd be Depending hilarious. Depending on the intensity. Yeah. I had hot wings last night, Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's adorable. It doesn't seem like it'd be worth buying. Like, would you actually get any pineapple from this, though? I don't think that's true. No. Probably one of my least favorite fruits. And by least favorite, I mean I would never eat one. Ever. The shape offends me. You're retarded. I think we should buy some cookies for after weigh-ins. Excuse me, sorry. Do you like baby food? Yeah. Not, I wish I liked sweet potatoes, but I don't. Can't dig it. I hate Gatorade. I think the water might be up here. It says bottled water. Ooh, where you some peanut butter at? I just always buy too much stuff. Oh, should we not do self checkout since we need? I like self checkout though. What, what else is there to do? <laughs> No? Madam <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zoo Let's get this moving. We're just lingering now. I'll meet you uh, in the workout room. Strong enough, eh, to keep holding it? No conversations? No, hey, what's up, girl? We going shopping? Nothing? Just, yeah. You know, I don't know if I'm I'm over it yet, even. Um, you know, it's what's happened, and it's, it's what's in front of me right now is fighting Alexis, but... Ultimately, I want that title. Um, you know, I lost the title um, after having it for, for close to a year, and then um, that, that's my goal is to, to get it back. And it's, it's hard to sit back and watch and see, you know, these, these girls talking their way and, and essentially kind of saying whatever they need to say in order to get to, get to that title. And so, you know, I, I don't know if I need to talk more trash because, you know, us Canadians, we, we are nice, and, and I'm a really nice person. Um, I think, anyway, and you know, I, I don't, I don't know if I need to, to, to talk the trash to, to get there. You know, I want to do it by winning, but you know, if, if you think, you know, what do you think? You see this all the time. Rhonda has done a great job of talking her way into it, and you know, good for her. She's gotten herself exposure, and um, as I say, I'm not a big talker, and so I have to do that in other ways, uh, and make sure that I get myself pushed for who I am, and. I mean, would I want it? do I want to be fighting for the title on Saturday? Absolutely. Do I think I should? Absolutely. But that's not the situation we're in, so uh, I have another fight, and I still get to fight for Strike Force. I mean, I think that it would be satisfying to fight if Misha wins because it kind of sets the division right in terms of where everyone stands and, and Ronda coming down and, and taking that title shot. But then I have no problem, and I'd happily... Uh, be the first one to smash Rhonda in the face. Thanks so much, Ariel. Oh, someone just said, there's always one bitch who's jealous. Cough, cough, Kaufman. That's always nice. A lot of people just saying good luck. Oh, Amanda Nunes just said good luck. That's very nice.
and and a lot of people I mean are on the fence. Um, you know, people saying that they they believe in the pecking order and they think I should be fighting for the title, but good luck anyway. Um, and then you get the ones who just call me a bitch. Look at this one. Can't wait to see you bang this Saturday night. Woo! That's what she said. That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. In cap capitals. That's what she said. Amazing. So good. Okay, so this is for tickets for Strike Force in Columbus on March 3rd. In order to win. <laughs> In order to win uh, these tickets, you need to make sure that you caption um, where you would best want to hear this song. Um, and Adam Zujek, he is right here. He will be playing the song for us. Every day it's a going faster. <laughs> faster than the road. <laughs> you have to sing the lyrics. Do it again. I don't know. Yeah, going faster. <laughs> I said that. Every day, it's going faster. No. It's a getting closer? It's a getting closer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Every day, it's a getting closer. <laughs> going faster than the roller coaster. That was terrible. That was terrible. I dropped the bottle. <laughs> you started laughing. That was terrible. Is anybody gonna watch that video on Twitter? Do people watch videos on Twitter? So I'm just gonna do a Twitter contest to give away some tickets for the Strike Force event this Saturday. And um, so we made a video, and the video is ridiculous. Uh, but what we're trying to get here is the best um, caption or the best, I guess not really caption. Just where you'd want to hear the song the most can be anything. We were thinking, you know, if someone came up with while pooping would probably be the best answer, but any answer will suffice. And so I'll pick the winner um, and the winner gets tickets. And hopefully the winner can make it to Columbus because it would be pointless otherwise. Um, so just looking through all the captions I got from my caption contest to win tickets, and there were definitely some good ones. Um, so let me pull some up. Well, someone, Kurt Bailey, said, That work of art made me an emotional wreck. I want to lose my virginity to that song. Um, another extreme in the negative, sad direction, um, since I can't afford vet bills to put down my AIDS, cancer, organ-failing dog, I would like to hear it as I swing my dog around a tree. Um, so interesting, interesting. Uh, my favorite, which is what we are going for, and how it originally came about, was we were talking about bidets and how they play songs sometimes um, for a modesty button. And uh, we were talking about how it would be perfect to use that song for a modesty song. And the rest response that won was from the Toothless MMA fan. Um, he says, I would use it in response while wiping my butt after dropping, dropping a huge number two. Amazing.
today was a quite a good day. I uh, did some Twitter, uh, got some ideas for walkout songs, which you'll have to watch to uh, watch the fight to make sure you get to hear it. Um, also gave away some tickets, so that's fun. Um, and other than that, I luckily got to hang out with my coach, Adam Zujak. Woo! And when you poop, what are you going to be listening to? For the future, when I am in a bathroom that has a bidet, that has a modesty button that will play me music, I will be listening to... What's the name of it? Every day is... <laughs> Da, 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 going faster than a roller coaster. That's not a very good rendition, but that's the song. Sing disgusting. Buddy Holly.